Minecraft 1.21 is arguably one of the best, most recent updates. In fact, 1.21 is so good that it might cause a long-awaited update to Minecraft. Perhaps one of the best features of 1.21 is the ominous bottle. And that single change of how bad omen is obtained could very well cause significant changes to Minecraft. Let me explain. Currently, after you obtain an ominous bottle from a raid captain, then drink it, you will have the bad omen effect, which traditionally caused a villager raid. However, in 1.21, it can now cause the trial chambers to become ominous. In other words, the trial chambers can become more difficult with more unique loot. Putting bad omen in a bottle really gives the player the choice if they want to pursue more difficult challenges, whether that's village raids or ramping up the difficulty in trial chambers, which are kind of already difficult. But if you want to get the mace and enchanted golden apples and more, you're going to have to take on that challenge. Okay, but what does the ominous bottle mean for the future of Minecraft? Before we talk about how it could majorly expand the adventures and challenges in the game, let's look at the most apparent change. That being, automatic totem farms are probably done for. Which, in my opinion, is a good thing. Totems of Undying are exotic and powerful items. They should not be easily attainable and farmable like that. Furthermore, the player should only be able to get Totems of Undying in Woodland Mansions. However, even though Bad Omen doesn't come automatically after killing raid captains, there still could be a way for totems to be farmed. At least it can't just run automatically. Onwards, how could the Ominous Bottle be the catalyst to cause a Structures update? We already know that the Bad Omen effect causes more difficult trial chambers with more difficult mobs and random events that players have to deal with while fighting. These random events occur above the player's head. It can be a random projectile being thrown or splashing down new potion effects onto the player or the mobs, like wind charged, oozing, weaving. These new potion effects just add another layer into the difficulty and tedious task of fully eliminating a trial chamber. So with all this, what if the ominous bottle, Bad Omen, could cause other generated structures to become more difficult or more rewarding. Because of 1.21's ominous bottle change, it could literally be the gateway into Mojang updating decade-old structures that are for sure in need of an update. For example, what if you had the bad omen effect and walked into a regular dungeon and it turns into an anonymous spawner and the chest loot becomes anonymous chest loot? In addition, if Mojang pursues a structure update and they completely redesign the jungle pyramid, they could have new or existing mobs like the bogged residing inside the structure and if the player walks in with bad omen, those mobs are more difficult but yield more rewards. In theory, they can make the ominous bottle affect virtually any challenging structure, like a sea temple. Perhaps guardians can be equipped with armor if you swim by with bad omen, or a new sea creature spawns in addition of the sea guardians. There are loads of possibilities. These changes could even affect strongholds. There is so much potential for the ominous potion, not only for Minecraft lore reasons, but also because it could be used to further enhance a potential structure update in the future. Now it should be noted that the player has the choice whether or not to drink the ominous bottle. So if you don't want to face a more difficult Minecraft, then you don't need to drink the ominous bottle. But if you're a veteran player or you just want to try something new with more challenge and with more and better rewards, then you can opt in and drink the ominous bottle and face more or new challenges in a variety of generated structures. That would be a pretty cool mechanic. Getting a new structure in Minecraft 1.21 is one of my most favorite features of 1.21. I just love the new challenge, items, and mechanics that it has to offer. And finding a trial chamber is definitely going to be one of my top priorities in a Minecraft world. But in addition to that, the ominous bottle and the bad omen changes could perhaps be the best feature of 1.21 as the potential for the item is huge because the cool features and mechanics that we see in the trial chambers could bleed over to other generated structures like dungeons, sea temples, jungle temples, strongholds, or perhaps even nether fortresses. At some point, Mojang will need to make a structure update, not only updating their appearance, but their features, mechanics, and potentially loot pools. And there are so many other updates that Mojang needs to consider. So what's your favorite thing about 1.21, and what's an update you want to see? If you enjoyed this video and my other content, then consider becoming a channel member because not only will you be getting new exclusive content, you'll be invited to a private SMP where we will be testing future updates, hosting tournaments, and 
well, much more. But the catch is, only the first 100 people will be invited. So, reserve your spot now! When Minecraft 1.21 was first announced, the Minecraft community did not have very high expectations for the update. However, that reputation has for sure changed. And 1.21 is a pretty good update, as many of you have expressed. And perhaps Mojang is finally catching on to the community. And that would be fully evident if they added the end update, which is the most anticipated Minecraft update. And there's even good news with that. Mojang might have teased the end update. A subtle tease, but we could see 1.22 being the end update. That would be crazy.